Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy, if you are new here, if you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming back. Always showing your girl some love and appreciation. I appreciate you all as well. Today I have something very exciting for us as usual. You know, I'm always gonna use the word exciting because unboxing and first sniffs are always exciting, right y'all? Um, can you agree with me <laughs> down in the comments? Yes, yes. Uh, we're always excited for those new fragrances. Even if we've sampled them, it's not the same. You know, some of the samples come in the little dabbers, but when you can actually spray something that you've attempted to sample, then um, it's an amazing feeling. It might be completely different because there's a mass of that fragrance that's being sprayed out. So um, I did sample this. Well, barely sample it. Um, I've tried it one time, but I know um, there's some orange blossom in there, which are one of the notes that I completely love. So today we're going to be talking about the House of Parfums de Marly, and we're going to do an unboxing of Saffinade. A lot of people have mixed reviews and mixed uh, emotions on this fragrance because they said it doesn't last long. You know, it may last like four to six hours, but I'm actually good with a fragrance that lasts about four hours. Sometimes I don't want to smell something, you know, all day long. Long. I might want to change it up, you know, depending on if I'm going out um, based on my morning, daytime or nighttime. So sometimes it's okay to have fragrances that last about four to six hours. Most of the time, four hours on the skin um, and like six hours on the clothes from what I've heard. And I'm good with that. So we're going to get into an unboxing, a little bit of a first impressions of it because I really don't remember what it smelled like. Um, I smelled it last year and I'm really excited to smell this fragrance today and I'm going to be wearing it as my scent of the day. So please follow me on Instagram. It's Marshmello. I'll link that down or I'll post that down in the description box as well. We're going to talk about some of my other Parfums de Marly um, fragrances as well. Not too much into detail, but a couple notes, and I'll just give you all my take on the fragrances as well. So without further ado, y'all, we're going to get into the unboxing of Saffinade and uh, Parfums by Parfums de Marly. So it comes in this beautiful box, you know, Beautiful black box. I love the packaging of Parfums de Marly. This one actually comes in like a sleep box. The other one, it's pretty like a matte box, but this is pretty shiny. So pretty. The bottle is stunning, as we all know. We all know what Saffinol looks like. Beautiful. You can use this as a display. So I'm a little excited, y'all. The bottle's stunning. The black, the gold. You know, when I got Athalia and I got Darcy, I was like, I have to get Saffinade because it has the black and the gold and the juice will look so beautiful and amazing next to my Athalia and my Darcy, y'all. But anyway, I love the notes of orange blossom, a sweet orange blossom. You know, I love... Um, well, we won't get into other fragrances, y'all. Okay, so in this, um, I'll give you the main accords or what it's supposed to smell like. There's white florals, yellow florals, sweet vanilla. Um, you have some, it's powdery notes and citrusy. So in the actual fragrance, um, you have pear, you have orange, you have orange blossom, you have ylang ylang, iris, vanilla, sandalwood, and you have some amber. All of those notes I completely love, okay? Especially the orange blossom. I do love the scent of ylang ylang, which gives it a more, gives it more of a sparkling, uh, citrusy, kind of tropical note um, to it. So let's get into this and let's see what this smells like. So I'm going to wear this as my scent of the day, y'all. And then I'm going to come back later and maybe do a review on Instagram to let you know how long it lasts on my skin. We all have different skin compositions. You know, we all sweat different. Some people have dry skin uh, that might, might not be able to maintain the fragrance. Some people have oily skin, you know, just super moist skin. Well, my skin is super moist. So hopefully, um, Saffinade will be able to make, it will stay on my skin and give a really good projection, y'all. I heard the projection was good on this. Um, I heard the sillage was good uh, within that four hours. But then as far as the longevity, I heard that it was pretty, um, you know, mixed reviews on it. But let's go ahead and see, y'all. So I'm going to spray this on my skin. Show you the atomizer. The atomizer is pretty fair. 
Y'all know. It smells delicious already. I definitely get the orange blossom and the vanilla. Uh, where else? Where else we gonna go, y'all? Where else? <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty much, that's enough. Now, that put a little bit of a dent in that bottle, huh? This might not last me very long, y'all. So um, anyway, I already smelled it. I really don't have to, you know, put my skin up to my nose, but I absolutely, I love it, you know? Um, you know what scent that I extremely love and it really gives me a sweet smell of orange blossom and it lasts so long? Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. That's an amazing scent. It almost smells like, um, it's a very refined, delicious, um, it should be a niche scent, y'all, because Girly Saab, Elle of Now, is the orange blossom in there is so thick and good, y'all. But this right here is orange blossom. I smell like a slight citrusy scent. Very, very mild. Um, I do get that vanilla, but in here you get the orange, you know, not a tangerine because that's more of a little more sour or um um or a clementine not that it's just an orange you know like a florida orange so you get a little bit of that citrusy orange on that orange blossom it's really a little powdery it's not overly sweet but it does give a really um nice scent of sweetness you know I really like it. You get a little bit of that amber in here. No, of course you get some woody notes. But yeah, it's a pretty simple fragrance, you know. Um, I'll come back to let you know how it lasts. But actually, I really like this. You know, I want to spray it some more, but you know, it's a, little, a couple more sprays now, okay? Just a couple more. All right, that was it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And I, I want to know um, if anybody actually count my sprays because most of the time when I do spray on a fragrance as my scent of the day, I do over spray it depending on the um, the performance. Now, if it's beast mode, I'm not over spraying like Atomic Rose. Um, definitely, definitely not over spraying. And I probably would not over spray Darcy and Athalia also because they're pretty beast mode as well. But anyway, Saffinad, I love the scent. You know, hopefully it lasts longer on me. I'll let you all know how it performs. But I, actually, I really love it. And I'm glad that I did purchase it. So next we have, we're going to talk just a couple um, things about, these are amazing fragrances for the spring summer. Um, so we're going to talk about Delina. Now Delina is my favorite out of all of them. I like the original Delina. Of course, it's a definitely a great beast mode scent for the summer. You don't need a lot of this spray. Uh, you don't need a lot of this perfume or fragrance, um, maybe like three or four sprays and then you're done. Um, a lot of people don't like that sharp rhubarb note inside, but I actually like the rhubarb note inside. So in Delina, you have rhubarb, lychee, nutmeg, you have some Haitian vetiver, peony incense, and Turkish rose. Absolutely amazing, stunning scent. Definitely a lifer for me. Absolutely love Delina, and this is the original. Now you have Delina Exclusive. Now Delina Exclusive, it's all of those. It's you have your pear, you have your. Um, it doesn't have any rhubarb inside though. You have your pear and your lychee. You have some oud and incense in this, and it's minus the rhubarb. So it's really good. It's powdery, sweet. It doesn't give you that um, super sharp note. The rhubarb. I still absolutely love Delina Exclusive. A delicious, delicious fragrance. Um, definitely, um, I would wear this more in the evening and in the nights because it's just a sexy fragrance, y'all. It's a lady, it's a sexy fragrance. It exudes luxury, like Delina is luxury, y'all. So that's exclusive. Um, if you like sweeter notes, um, then you might wanna stick with the Delina exclusive. It's powdery, delicious, y'all. So next we have Delina La Rose. This is an amazing rose. I think this might be 
um, aside from Atomic Rose, uh, which are two different roses. You know, one's a sexy, super sexy. This can be super sexy, but very pretty, girly, very light, airy. This is a beautiful watery nose, uh, watery nose. This is a beautiful watery rose. Um, in this, you have some peony, which really shines in this. You have your rose, white musk. You have some woody notes. You have lychee and you also have pear. They use lychee across the board, and I think that's what makes their fragrances out of these the Delina trilogy um, stand out more. But absolutely love Delina La Rose. It's stunning. It's juicy. Um, definitely a, a super, super spring summer fragrance. Um, anytime, anywhere. I just, I absolutely love this. I have to stop myself from wearing it. Uh, but this is mouthwatering, juicy rose. Uh, it's stunning, y'all. Get your nose on Delina. And the performance is beast mode, even though it says watery notes. Um, and, and it's just a rose fragrance. It's not beast. It doesn't have all the composition that the other two Delinas have. Um, but this is beast mode. I sprayed it on my arm um, prior to me purchasing this from Nordstrom's. When I tell you, and I sprayed it one time, I, I smelled this like 12 hours later. Beast mode projection and performance. Delicious. Next, we have a uh, Darcy. Now, I I was drawn to this fragrance because I love, love, love the bottle. You know, Darcy is just sophisticated, stunning. It's elegant. Um, this is rich. This looks super, super rich. Absolutely love the presentation and the packaging. So in Darcy, you have some citruses, orange, lemon, jasmine, rose, patchouli, and white musk. So I'm going to go ahead. I thought I bought some. Oh, yeah. I have some test strips. I'm going to go ahead and spray Darcy on. And she rhymes with Marcy. Corny, right? So this one, it took me a moment to get used to. But I do like it. It's completely different. This, I blind bought it. But I, this is not a safe blind buy, you know. I'm a weird type of person, you know, and I love weird things sometimes, you know. Um, I don't like mass appealing fragrances, you know, so that's why I'm really not drawn to a lot of the designer fragrances, but then some are amazing as well. Um, so I love things that smell completely different, y'all. So let's get into Darcy. So, like I said, Darcy, do not overspray, okay? So, um, Darcy, you get a dirty jasmine in here, y'all. The jasmine in here, yes, it smells, um, yeah, it smells like a dirty jasmine. <laughs> I think uh, the fragrantician would really like this um, Darcy fragrance. So you get that patchouli. You know, sometimes patchouli can smell different. Something smells dirty in here. It's either or dusty. It's either the jasmine or the patchouli, or it could be a combination of the two. But the citrus, the lemon, the orange kind of like brightens it all up, gives it a completely different take. You know, it almost reminds me or it has the same vibe of uh, Bal de Freak, but of course Bal de Freak is super, super light. But because of this uh, dirtiness in here with the citrus notes and the brightness and the orange, you know, slightly musky, not much, but definitely amber patchouli, um, orange and lemon. You get a lot of that citrusy in here. It says that this had like um, gummy, I think like gummy candies or something like that in the base. Um, you know, it may smell like, um, you know, some it's sweet, might give it a little bit of like, um, gumminess or gummy worm gummy bears you know but overall this is a very unique fragrance do not blind buy this I actually like it but i really don't see myself wearing this in the spring summer if i do wear it it will definitely be a summer night but this will definitely shine in the winter the the fall and the, the autumn winter fall whatever um in the cold weather this will definitely shine you know, but the citrus, the combination, the citrus, the jasmine, you know, it's um, it's completely different, y'all. But I like it. I don't love it. I like it. <laughs> Next, we have Athalia. Now, Athalia is basically pretty simple. Um, it still comes in this little stand. The bottle is very sleek, you know, beautiful bottles, like I said. Comes with the crystal on the top, you know, stunning um, design. 
the Parfums de Marley logo, you know, very beautiful. So Athalia is pretty simple. So you have your orange blossom, you have your iris in here, you have your white musk and you have your amber. So this, I do smell, I'm not an irisy girl. This is tolerable, but you get a lot of iris in this. But the orange blossom comes in, kind of like overpowers the iris and helps the sister out, okay? So that's what I'm getting in Athalia. I've worn this a couple times just around the house because I, I just re I bought this about three months ago. It's a little too warm um, to wear Athalia, but definitely for me, I'm rocking this in the winter, in the cold weather. Athali is good. This is black tie worthy. This is good. This, this The fragrance is just rich. It smells rich. It looks rich. It's very soft. It's very silky. It's smooth. That orange blossom and that iris. You know, you get some woody notes here. Yeah, the musk makes it really soft. Yeah, absolutely. I actually love Athalia, y'all. Loving that um, orange blossom and that amber, the orange blossom and iris combination, but a, a light iris. You know, not too lipsticky, makeup-y. But absolutely love this. I would actually combine um, Saffinade and Athalia. This would be two amazing fragrances to combine absolutely amazing for those that say it doesn't hold its scent because you got your orange blossom in here you got your orange blossom in here you got a little bit of iris in both um you know this is beast mode great performance um this is slightly sweeter but this is sweet as well boom together this would be amazing y'all so anyway i might do that you know maybe one or two sprays of athalia and then i already have on my uh saffinat so that is all for my review. Um, I hope you all have an amazing Saturday. Go out, you know, get up, do some exercise, um, work out, you know, um, get that blood circulating, you know, go out and get some sun wherever you are. If you don't, just relax. If you don't have sun in your area, you know, um, just relax, you know, and um, when the sun comes out, then uh, make sure you grab it, all right? Have an amazing day, y'all. Bye-bye.